bring me your favorite princess toy. <gasps> Ariel, that's my favorite princess too. You're chewing on her. <laughs> Hello YouTube world, it is Rye here and I am back with my fourth, fourth <laughs> Disney 100 celebration video celebrating our Disney princesses in chronological order and reviewing my favorite dolls of those princesses. This time, as you guessed or can see, would be Ariel from The Little Mermaid. I had such a hard time picking which doll I wanted to review, and since Ariel's my favorite princess, I was just like, what the heck, I'll just do two. Um, I had such a tough time picking which one I honestly wanted to do four, um, but I can do those in another video, um, and I kind of ruled out the designers and all the smaller limited edition dolls. Um, so. I finally narrowed it down to two, and that was because the first mermaid doll that Disney came out with, I didn't like as much, but I did like the tail of the first one, and I'll put a picture here so you can see. And then of course, I was also going to do the platinum wedding set, and I was just like, well, it's princesses, and Eric is in that set, so maybe I'll do my own separate. <laughs> separate review of that doll set. Um, before I get into these dolls, I do want to welcome all my current subscribers and new viewers to my channel. If you are new, it'd be greatly appreciated if you like and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free and it helps support me in the YouTube world. If you want to check out my later videos, um, or not later, earlier videos, Go ahead and do so on my channel. It's greatly appreciated for any views as well. The Little Mermaid was released in 1989 and she became the fourth official Disney princess. And that was a long time after uh, Sleeping Beauty. Um, and the Little Mermaid is a mermaid who is longing to visit the human or the surface world. However, her dad forbids her going to the surface. She then falls in love with a prince that she sees on a boat and rescues him from drowning. And then she makes a deal with Ursula the Sea Witch to gain legs and go to her beloved Prince Eric but she loses her voice. Goes up to the surface and tries to have Eric fall in love with her by giving a kiss and then she will break the curse, be human forever, have her voice back. However, Ursula doesn't want that to happen and Ursula wants to be the ruler of the ocean. So she tries to kind of sabotage that by becoming Vanessa and hypnotizing Eric into falling in love with her so Ariel does not get that kiss. We all know the ending that Prince Eric kills Ursula and the sea is back to normal with Triton being the ruler. However, Ariel does become a mermaid, but her dad does not like seeing her sad and wants her to be happy, so he gives her legs and so Eric and Ariel can live happily ever after. Now we do have two other movies that follow The Little Mermaid, and those, eh, they're good, but I would say the original is still my favorite. Um, coming in second would probably be The Little Mermaid 2 with Ariel's daughter, Melody, um, but I still prefer the original. Let's go ahead and go into my doll room so we can go ahead and get a closer look on both of these dolls, which I'm super excited to share with you. All right, so now we are back in my doll room reviewing our fourth official Disney princess, and that's Ariel. And since I'm gonna be doing two dolls, I am gonna go ahead and just jump into it so I'm not making such a long video. <laughs> and let's see if I can review both of these two dolls. 
um, and their boxes at the same time, and then we'll go individually into each one of them and their distinct outfits individually. But as for the boxes, you can see that both of these boxes have an iridescent feel, and it goes throughout the whole box. So the mermaid aerial, you have the blue underwater colors, and then on the land aerial in her pink dress, you have a more purple, pink, yellow, gold iridescent color throughout the whole box and the front of the box. As you can see, they both are the 30th anniversary of The Little Mermaid, and both of them have that Disney logo at the top left corner. The designs throughout each box are a little bit different. Um, on the right box with the land aerial, you get more of a border around the box with sea, sea stars and more of that um, design with, I guess, like seaweed kind of represents. And then with the mermaid, you don't really get anything at the top. Um, except the seashell um, covering the, the Little Mermaid 30 years, and then you get the coral at the bottom. Um, and then, as you look at the bottom, they both have a seashell there at the bottom. They have Ariel. They are both in different fonts, which, I mean, I, they could have been a little bit uniform there and had the same font since they were in the same... <laughs> same... 30th anniversary. The one, the mermaid one, is one out of 5,500, and the one on the right, the land, a uh, pink dress Ariel, is one of 1,000, and she was a D23 Expo exclusive, and it actually has the date on it, and it is 2019, so I got this doll in 2019. Now both of these boxes have that display window and they are in the newer Shop Disney limited edition boxes, which I know a lot of people aren't a fan of. Let's go ahead and look at the sides of this, these dolls. So the sides of these dolls, you guys are getting a beautiful look, especially with the lights going on them. And it's kind of like that iridescent feel as well, kind of like how the light reflects off of a water. It, it really is a beautiful box. Um, the left mermaid, you get the coral and seaweed and underwater leaves. And then on the right, you just get that gold iridescent going up to the purplish um, all the way through. So they're both kind of like a rainbow color um, when you get the light on them. And then the right, you will see that it is bordered on the display window with seashells, seahorses, and that gold border uh, with the different design kind of feature there. As we turn to the other side of the box, exactly the same as their counterpart. So I'm not going to review much on that as they're pretty much the same. And now as we look at the back of the boxes, that iridescent effect continues throughout the back. Um, both of them do have the same design that surrounds the description of the doll. So like a circle frame and they both have a shell at the bottom and a shell at the top that says The Little Mermaid 30 Years. Then you have the description of each doll and I'll have close-ups here for you, so if you want to pause and read each one, you're more than welcome to. They do have different descriptions, so if you'd like to read that on your own, you may. Then you have the Certificate of Authenticity with display stand included. And then, as you can see, these newer boxes come with a ribbon that tie the back of the box. The Mermaid Ariel has a purple silk ribbon, and the pink dress has a goldish yellow silk ribbon. Now, the one on the left, the mermaid, she retailed at $129.99. I'll post a screenshot here for you of when she was available online. And then the one on the right was a D23 exclusive, and they bumped her price up about 30 bucks there. So at $159.95 retail price. Now I'm going to tilt these boxes slightly over so we can see the top of the boxes. And as you can see, the display window is on both. 
However, they both have a little slightly different shape uh, of the display window. We see the border on the right here uh, continue with, and also the iridescent. This side does not have a border, but does have that iridescent uh, effect as well. An underwater kind of vibe. Then we have the silk ribbons as handles, which I don't really care for. Why, why do we have these handles? I guess they're, they were trying to get rid of um, bags, so they're like, this is easier for you to, to hold. But I honestly don't care for those ribbons. All right, so let's go ahead and take off the top cover of the mermaid. And then we'll review the mermaid Ariel, and then we'll jump into the pink dress one. So I will just show you for one of them. You just undo the ribbon. The box slides off. The plastic slides off. And one thing I'll show you about the plastic, it does have the designs along the plastic sides as well. Not sure if it adds value to the doll um, since it's hidden by the box if you just decide to display but sure now this doll since it's a newer doll in the newer boxes the certificate of authenticity came in the back all right so we'll start with the certificate of authenticity with the mermaid Ariel and you can pause here if you'd like to read on your own but it does have that iridescent feel, vibe, rainbow color to it. And I have number 1,240 of 5,500. The back, you will get the same thing, but in another language. All right, so I'm super excited to do this doll since she's my favorite princess. So we're gonna start from the bottom and we'll start with her big tail fins. Oh my gosh, the fabric is amazing. I'm gonna touch it really quick. And it feels like there are some wires in here and it's a thick, thick fabric um, with a green turquoise kind of color, shimmery effect with the uh, embroidery of the um, lines of the fin. And then you have the green jewels on there as well. I'm failing the back and the embellishment does not continue to the back, but I wouldn't mind because I'm keeping the doll in the box. As you can see that there's a bend in the knee here. Um, so she is articulated and can bend. Um, it is a full body doll. So we get, you can take off the fins if needed or the tail. Um, and want to put her in some different clothes, but I'm not gonna do so. Then you have the sequin on the tail that has the different color effects as you shine the light on it. You have the greens, the purples, the blues, the beautiful effect of this tail. And that's why I chose this one over the first one. And then I also like the face a little bit better on this one, but we'll get to that in a moment. Um, then we go up and we have a kind of see-through feel on top of her tail and that actually gives a good feel because you know how you see fish in the water you can see through some of their fins and scales which kind of gives it that vibe um, and it is also a thicker fabric then on the sides we kind of have it kind of looks like a skirt, but it's supposed to portray more of a fish-like fin there. And it is two layers of a see-through fabric with some um, shimmery shine effects as well. She is held up with the inserts as well as the display stand, and the display stand does go around her waist. Unlike the other ones, the um, ones that don't have a tail like her, they, the doll stand do, does go underneath them and goes under their um, below section, if you know what I mean. They're basically sitting on the stand. As of this one, it's just holding by the waist. Anyways, as we go up, that seashell bra is one of the best bras Disney has ever came out with on a doll in my opinion. You get the gold seashell that 
Ursula takes the voice of Ariel in and it has a dangled jewel on there and that jewel is a bluish turquoise color great effect and then you have that gold jewel in the mi middle there then you have a shine spray effect of the seashell bra purple with purple embellishments along the border and then there's some hints of gold that go through the cracks of the seashell there is a ribbon that does connect to the seashell bra and it goes around. I'm not too sure if it is a Velcro or not. I'm not able to tell as I'm not taking out this doll. Then we have her straps that look like they're out of shells, but they're beads. They're white, uh, white beads. Um, there's three straps on each side. From what I saw, the three straps are kind of connected onto the back of her bra. Then she has a gold, maybe it's plastic, I think it's metal, sounds like metal, um, around her neck. Then we're going to go ahead and just move on to her bracelets. They sound kind of metal as well, so one, two, three. She has three on this hand and a smaller kind of bracelet on the, a thinner bracelet on the other hand. They're both gold and some do have embellishments on them. Um, so perfect, in my opinion. I love the accessories and the jewel and as you can see, everything just shimmering and shining. As we make our way up to my favorite part of every doll, the face print. Um, her face print gives that innocent look of how Ariel would be in the animated cartoon film. We have the lip gloss, the blush, the eye print, the rooted eyelashes. Perfect doll in my opinion. One of my favorites and I'm so excited that I have this doll. Last but not least, we'll look at the hair. The hair, we have Ariel's signature red hair flowing down in curls which make it seem like she's in the ocean and her hair is flowing. As you can see they gave her a hair accessory which gives like an underwater flower and it has several different kinds of fabric in there with shimmery effects. Then in her hair they give her some um, beads that give an effect of bubbles. So if she's underwater it would show kind of like there's bubbles flowing through and going through her hair, which I absolutely love. Um, I'm not too sure if I were to debox it if they're like kind of stuck in her hair, but I'm gonna leave her like this and I absolutely love that they added that effect and gives it an underwater vibe. Moving on to our second doll, the pink dress Ariel and her certificate of authenticity. If you'd like to pause it there, you may so you can read. And I have 786 of 1000. The back also, different language. Starting with the bottom, let's see if I can see her shoes. Her shoes are like a pink flat, <laughs> a pink flat plastic shoe. Um, I'll see if I can get you a closer look in another film here. Then as we look, there are one, one, two, three, four, looks like four layers of um, material under her dress, but it looks like they're all sewed together except for, you know what, they're all sewed together. Um, and you get that thick, thick embroidered uh, fail here with the shimmery shiny gold fabric and those are all sewed together it looks like the top layer of the dress you can see that it has a see-through feel to it uh, when you can see the under layers of the other parts of the dress that have the silky fabric feel and I don't want to forget the pink layer of the <laughs> bottom of the dress as well as we make our way up, let's see, is this see-through? Ooh, so this also has several layers. I want to say maybe one, one or two. Two layers on the top of her dress. The, you have a, 
let's flip it. You have a silky um, fabric on the bottom and then on the top you have like a see-through fabric which matches the same colors. Then the dress is embroidered with a gold color and then you have the jewels look like purple or they could be clear. I'm in from where I'm looking and how I looked close up they look like a light purple. Now the embroidery does not go all the way around as I am feeling so I think Disney could have added that in there. I, I kind of don't like that they're stopping just in the front. I wish they would continue to the back especially for all those collectors who do D-Box. Now we go up to her bodice and as you can see the top of her dress there's one two layers um so right here at the top next to her bust we have the fabric that's a tan color let me see if i can and that's a thick fabric too i want to say they maybe layered two fabrics there and sewed it together and maybe there's something underneath i can't really tell if it gives it a thicker feel that there's another, but I don't think so. I think it's just two thicker fabrics. Um, then we have the, I guess it's like a corset shape, um, but at the top we have kind of folds in the fabric. And, oh yeah, and that that's like two fabrics sewed together. And it feels like there's maybe like a cush, cushion in there as well to give it a thicker feel. Then the torso section, which looks like a corset, we have a flower design, a flower print design, which actually kind of looks like the Aurora one that had in her shawl, um, kind of, but I don't think it's the exact same. I think it has more underwater feel to it. But as we make our way to her puffy sleeves, it comes in that pink color to match the rest of the dress. And then you have the embroidery that matches the embroidery at the bottom of the dress. And then the embellishments, which also are throughout her puffs on her sleeve. Now these embroideries do continue on to the back, which I can feel. So that is a plus. Um, then on either of her sides, you have that pretty pink bow with the satin feel and then her sleeves also in a pink satin. We go up to her gold necklace. Let's see if this is metal. I'm having a hard time to see if it's metal or plastic and I think the actual design is plastic but the chain is metal. I don't know if I'm sorry if I'm wrong but to me it, it feels like it's plastic and the chain may be metal um, but this doll doesn't have any accessories um, besides the necklace and the hairpiece which we'll get to as we look at her face um, she does have a slightly lighter lip color than the other doll um, and then her shimmery on her eye uh, shadow she does not have which I didn't mention before but the mermaid did have a gold shimmery around her eyeshadow she does have the rooted eyelashes and the print of her face is just beautiful then we have the blush um, and it overall ties this doll together we move on to her hair and just like the other one her signature red hair and we give her some curls as well um, not as much as the underwater it looks like, but she does have some curls in her hair. Then we have a plastic gold piece in her hair, um, which ties in with her necklace to match, and it brings the overall outfit together with the pink golds and purples, which kind of translates to the outside of the box, <laughs> which I'm just noticing now. But overall, great, great. Um, execution by by Disney and definitely worth being a D 
D23 exclusive. All right. Well, now we have both the dolls back together, and sorry if it seemed like I was a little bit rushed while I was doing the review. I just didn't want to take up a whole bunch of everyone's time, and I wanted to make sure that I got to the important parts of each doll like I did with my other ones, and I know I have two this time, so I kind of wanted to get straight to the point. <laughs> um, I am not sure how much these dolls retail for now, um, I will go ahead and, like my other dolls, post a little clip here of what they are on the marketplace, such as eBay, um, and you can get an idea of how much they are and if you'd like to add them to your collection. Let me know your thoughts on either of these dolls. I had a hard time picking which one. Let me know which one you would have picked if you had to have picked one of these dolls as your favorite. I honestly kept going back and forth, back and forth, and I was gonna do my D23 exclusive because she was a D23 exclusive, but I was like, I can't, it's Ariel. She has to be mermaid, mermaid Ariel. <laughs> so at the end of the day, I picked both of them and I am so excited that I own both of these in my collection. If I could have added all my limited edition Ariel dolls in this review, I would have. But do stay tuned in the future because I do plan on doing reviews of my other Ariel dolls. And if Ariel is your favorite princess, just like mine, let me know below. Let me know which other princesses you are looking forward to in my Disney 100 celebration. And let's go ahead and go back to my computer room so we can close out this review. And that was my review on the Little Mermaid Ariel dolls, the mermaid form and the D23 pink dress form. And I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know and see if you can help me. Which one did you like best? Did you like mermaid because it's the original kind of feel or did you like the pink dress? Um, and all the details in that. Um, also, if you, I'm going to reiterate it again, and sorry if I'm being annoying, but it's greatly appreciated that you're viewing my video, and I hope you do subscribe to my channel and like my videos, and if you want to stay tuned for future, please turn on that bell notification so you can be notified of my future uploads. I also do giveaways on a few of those uploads and live streams so please be sure to tune in or join to my live streams it's greatly appreciated um also let me know in the comments below who your favorite princess is and who you're looking forward to in the future on my disney 100 celebration doll reviews if ariel's your favorite like me and my dog <laughs> let me know below and other than that i hope that you have a great day, a great night, wherever you're at today. And just like always, remember to stay kind to yourself. Simply Rye, out.